Devine Mubama is refusing to sign a new contract at West Ham United. Now, I want to be very clear with my language here. I am not saying Devine Mubama wants to leave West Ham. I think the two things are very, very different. In fact, it may well be the case that Devine Mubama wants to stay at West Ham, but he sees no hope of first team football. Now that's me paraphrasing the news story. The news story is in The Athletic, which is a good source. It's a reliable source of information. And I think it's fair to say that the information has probably come from a very, very good source. It won't be the club, but I'd imagine it's from the player or his representatives, someone close to the player, certainly on this one. So I was quite impressed with the article because the article just says the bare minimum, which is he doesn't want to sign a new deal at West Ham United. His current contract uh, expires at the end of the year. The article suggests that there's no add-on, you know, like sometimes we have an option to uh, to implement another year if we want to. There's no such option in Obama's current contract. The article also goes on to say that negotiations between the club and the player are ongoing. Now, we're going to have to sort of read between the lines on this one and use a little bit of our experience of following this sort of thing. And I would imagine... We're not, we're not very good at tying these players down to contracts. Let's just say that. But there, there could be one or two, one of two reasons for that. One of them could be the lack of opportunity of a first team football. The other one could be money. I know what a lot of us are going to assume and we're going to assume that it is a lack of first team football. And if that's the case, then I really can't blame him for that. But I must just stress the article is impressive because it doesn't say any of that stuff. It, it would be so easy for the journalists to, to say Mubama's frustrated with lack of action under David Moyes. It, it, it stopped short of saying that. So actually, I think it's quite, quite responsible reporting, actually. Uh, so it, we can leave it to people like me to, to put two and two together. And, but it, it might possibly be four on this occasion. Uh, Mubama was the young player of the season. Uh, last season, he obviously has made his first team debut, he scored a goal for West Ham. Uh, the article goes on to point out that actually he was taken to Australia for uh, the pre-season game, scored against Tottenham. Uh, Billy McKinley, who's one of the West Ham coaches, gave him high praise. And, and not only gave him high praise, but said that David Moyes was impressed with Mubama. Now, I don't want to rant too long about this. I'm just going to keep it as a short video because I think there's going to be a lot more information comes out over the next few days on this. But there's certainly been times this season, this is my only opinion, uh, my own opinion, should I say, that we should have been using Mabama. Uh, particularly when Antonio hasn't either A, been on it or B, hasn't been available. The fact that Danny Ings is the guy that comes off the bench when he's really all suited to the way West Ham play under David Moyes is weird. I do find that odd. Divine Mubama is far better suited to the way West Ham play. It's really as simple as that. I do think that we are hemorrhaging uh, certainly young players at the moment. The counter-argument always says, well, who's gone on to do anything uh, at West Ham since we've released, uh, away from West Ham since we released them? Well, we've done that, you know, the, the list is there. We've done it many, many times before. I think people that say that think that nobody has. They have, plenty have. At the moment, you've got Pierre Equa, who is at Sunderland. He's doing really, really well. I mean, there are people talking about him that if he got a little injury, I think he came back during the game against QPR. Uh, under Tony Mowbray, he's been absolutely brilliant. He's been so good that actually West Ham, have, certainly commentators in and around West Ham, have been speculating otherwise whether or not West Ham can take him back. We picked him up from Chelsea, he didn't get a chance. He went to Sunderland. We got a 35% sell-on clause of him. Point is, he looked really, really promising. Last season, I watched, the, the very start of the last season, I watched our uh, under-18s play against Arsenal under-18s. I know we went on to beat them uh, in the final, but I'm talking the first game of the league season for the youth team last year. And I did a video on it over on our Patreon channel and Equa was the only player I, I felt for West Ham who came out with any credit. Also, midway through last season, Gio did a video and, uh, well, I was on the video with him and he said, who would you like to see? Who do you expect to see come through next? And I said, Equa. Th that's how good I thought he was. It's no surprise that he's gone on. He's playing really well for Sunderland. He's going to play at a higher level than just Sunderland. I can tell you that with some certainty. Irrespective of whether you believe that or whether you don't believe that, I do think that players deserve a chance. And I think certainly Mubama needs a chance. And he's had one. 
He's had two. I think he might have had six, six chances. And do you know what? He scored a goal during that time. He also scored another goal, if you remember, which was was chalked off. It was uh, classed as being uh, an own goal. But I just think when the team are playing as poorly as we have been in the last two or three games, when it looks like we can't score, and, and sometimes you know we look like we can't buy a goal, then why not give him a chance? And I understand he wasn't on the bench for the Everton game, but then it's up to David Moyes really to to make sure he's on the bench because David Moyes was chucking everybody else on that game against Everton. Anyway, look, do you know what? I'm going on I'm going on too much. I'm waffling too much on this video now. I just wanted to give you the facts. And that, and the facts are that, that all we know is that the Athletic are reporting that Mubama won't sign a new deal. All I would say, my final opinion on it, just because he won't sign a new deal or is refusing to at the moment, doesn't mean the situation can't be sorted. And the situation can be sorted. And I'm not just saying sack the manager and it can be sorted. Yeah, do you know what? That might sort it. It might not. The next manager might like it. But it can be sorted with this manager now. Give the boy some game time, Moisey. Give him a chance. Ings isn't working. Ings has gone 20 games without scoring a goal. Yes, a lot of them have been substitute appearances. They really have. But he's also, Ings has, has had the easiest games, hasn't he? Let's be fair. He's had back at Apola. He's had, uh, he's had, um, Possibly, I can't remember. Yes, he had Olympiacos as well, and he played against Lincoln City. He's playing against these supposed easier teams, and it's just not working. So, if he's not scoring, Mubama can't do any worse, can he? Because Ings is only on there to score a goal, right? That, that's all he's on there to do. His build up play is not particularly good. He's not fast enough to operate out wide. He's not, um, he can't bully the central defenders. He is on there as a fox in a box to basically sniff out an opportunity. And quite frankly, if he's not sniffing out an opportunity, he's not doing anything else. He's not really contributing and helping the team. I would just argue that maybe Divine Mubama, even if he's not scoring, he will give you some of that other stuff. He can drift out wide. He's pacey. He's got an eye for a pass. Uh, he, he's strong. He's, a, he's not a kid. He's a big lad. He's a strapping young man. He really is. He would certainly occupy central defenders a lot more easily than Danny Ings would. And I just think it, it's, it's one thing to lose a player. And that, was, that comes with some regret. It's another entirely to lose a player without fully exploring exactly what he can do for your team. I think we've seen it a little bit with Equa at the moment. We really are. And I'll tell you now, with this game coming up where we have no Thomas, not Thomas, sorry, where we have no Edson Alvarez and no Lucas Pacatar, he would get in. He would be a viable option for that Equa. He really, really would. Let's sort out his contract situation, but if what it takes is to dangle the carrot and give him a bit of first-team football, for goodness sake, Moisey, give him a bit of first-team football. It's not like anything else is working at the moment.